What's up everyone, Matthew Monas here, and today we're gonna to be revisiting the Huawei P9 Plus. This phone came out in May of 2016. I reviewed it in July, and just recently it got the latest update to Android 7.0 and MUI 5.0. So I've been using the phone again for the last few weeks. I'm gonna talk about what's changed, what's new, and whether or not it's still worth it. The first thing I liked was the design. It's a metal slab like most other smartphones, but it's extremely well proportioned. The back feels like glass or plastic, similar to the jet black iPhone, but the sides are rougher, making it easier to hold. It just feels very comfortable in the hand. However, with that glossy, shiny look also comes scratches. It's super easy to scratch. I've never dropped the phone or handled it poorly, but there just seems to be scratches on it. So a case is definitely suggested with this one. Second is the software. This is the main reason I couldn't use the P9 Plus. MUI 4.1 and below is just frustrating to use. There's no app drawer, terrible notification menu, and way too much theming. Now I'm okay with Android OEMs adding a bit of their flavor, but not when it frustrates or takes away from the user experience. But now that it's been upgraded to MUI 5.0 and Android 7.0, the experience has significantly changed for the better. The option to turn on an app drawer is there, the notification menu is a lot more stock Android-like, and the theme has slightly been toned down. The bottom line is it's enjoyable to use. I can now easily use this as my daily driver and not be frustrated. Third has to be the performance. This phone just feels so smooth. The Kirin 955 chip inside is made by Huawei, so they have the opportunity to really optimize things. There's no lag or stuttering. It's definitely one of the most fluid phones I've used in 2016, and even still holds true today. The next thing is the 5.5 inch AMOLED display. It's only 1080p, but it looks fine. I thought this would get to me over time since if you look super close, you can see some pixelation, but 99% of the time you're not that close. The screen is vibrant, bright, and colors look good. Now, it's obviously not as nice as the S7 Edge, but it's pretty similar to the OnePlus 3. So in my initial review, I said the P9 Plus had a good camera, but not the best. The dual lens setup allowed for some cool photography, especially when shooting in black and white. But the lack of OIS 4K video and not the best low light performance was sort of a turnoff. Now, it's still a good camera for everyday use, but it doesn't compete with the main contenders. However, with the update, Huawei has added the wide aperture effect. This allows you to get that cool depth of field effect, similar to the Mate 9 or portrait mode on the iPhone 7. The battery life is still good. It's 3400 milliamps, and combine that with a full HD display, I'm still easily getting through the entire day without needing a charge. Also, with 128 gigabytes of storage space, I still haven't had to use the micro SD card slot, but at least it's there if I need it. All right, so here's my closing thoughts. The Huawei P9 Plus was always a solid phone, but with two main issues, a frustrating software experience and a decent camera. However, with the latest update to Android 7.0, the first issue has been resolved. The camera may be the same, but it now has wide aperture mode. The stereo speakers sound good, the display is good, and the battery life is great. The design feels fantastic in the hand, but unfortunately, it scratches a bit too easily. So here's the bottom line. The Huawei P9 Plus is still worth it, and perfect for those who don't like the size of the Mate 9. Now, if you can score this phone for around $450, it would be a fantastic purchase. So that wraps up my revisit of the Huawei P9 Plus. What do you guys think of it? Do you have this phone? If you do, what do you like or dislike about it? I want to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.